Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The electronic warfare is an invisible domain which happens in electromagnetic spectrum. It not only helps to detect, protect and communicate but also deny enemy with the ability to either disrupt or use the signals. At present electronic warfare has become increasingly complex in its domain because it is spread across satcom cellular network radio and gps for electronic warfare the indian army has been using samyukta electronic warfare system developed jointly by dido and bharat electronics limited electronic corporation of india limited and core of signals of indian army and private companies like cmc and tata power sed Samyukta is highly mobile integrated electronic warfare system and is touted to be the largest electronic warfare system in India. The system is fully mobile and is meant for tactical battlefield use. It covers wide range of frequencies and coverage of electromagnetic spectrum which is handled by communication segment and non-communication segment. Its function includes LINT, comment and electronic attack ECM activities. Each system operates on 145 ground mobile vehicles which has three communication and two non-communication segments and can cover an area of 100 km by 70 km. The system has capability of surveillance analysis, interception, direction finding and position fixing, listing, prioritizing and jamming all the communication and radar signals from high frequency to millimeter wave communication. from x band to ku band anything can be jammed by this masterpiece of dido additionally samyukta serves as direction finder by intercepting the source of signal's position and can also jam radar frequencies this system can be used even with armor formation and plays vital role in disrupting adversaries tank communication sensors and its guidance system it can even suppress enemy's artillery observation post communication the enemy might see the tank movement but they will not be able to provide the coordinates to artillery battery for counter attack samyukta also gives input to indian air force now riding on success of samyukta drdo further developed its newer powerful and lighter version called heem shakti electronic warfare system heem shakti is an integrated electronic warfare system developed for indian army and to be used especially in mountainous terrain The system is designed and developed using DRDL or DRDO Labs indigenous technology for interception. It also has low power ECM chain and electro optical sensor subsystem. Heem Shakti comprises of control, communication, radar, cellular and satellite electronic warfare segments. Heem Shakti will contain several key systems including ultraviolet very high frequency directional finders, ultraviolet very high frequency jammers high frequency direction finders high frequency direction jammers and stand alone jammers these systems will be mounted on nearly 80 vehicles which will constitute a complete heem shakti system it will also be capable of operating cellular interception system satellite intercept systems a special information warfare system The system will operate in 0.5 to 40 gigahertz frequency both for directional finding and jamming purposes. The communication and non-communication of the electronic warfare system will be controlled by countermeasure control system. Now with the development of Heem Shakti, DRDO made a significant step in establishing a credible integrated electronic warfare system. Additionally, the new system is capable of jamming frequencies over an area of 10,000 square kilometers. These vehicles can be easily airlifted to deploy even on the mountain top. The Indian Air Force version of the system is called Ground Based Mobile Alien Systems. Now on 25th March 2023, the Ministry of Defence has signed a contract with Bharat Electronics Limited for procurement of two Heem Shakti integrated electronic warfare system. The contract is worth rupees 3000 crore and will be completed in the period of 2 years. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.